All right, we're back here at Mummer Machine and uh, talking about the 2.8. Um, I actually had a little fun project this weekend. I was able to get in here, get a few minutes, well, a couple hours, but um, got to build the uh, crank uh, scraper. And this was something that I really wanted to do. And the, the way that the block is shaped on the 2.8, uh, with the big offset in it um, actually really made this a cool project uh, and one of the main reasons is is that because of the big offset in the crankcase and you guys all know that the four cylinders had the counterbalancer and they kept it if you're into these engines you know why the big offsets there but um, it's something that you know, I think a lot of people look at it as something weird about the engine, but um, if you kind of look at the trends going on in the V8 world, you know, everybody's doing the big uh, offset kick out pans, right? And they're finding some extra horsepower with that. So, you know, typically the crankcases, the pan rails would be fairly similarly spaced. The crank would be pretty centered and so what they're doing is they actually will build the pans to have a big pooch out on the side and it actually covers the bolts and then they weld these tubes in the pan and you actually have to uh, either put really long bolts in them or uh, you have these plugs and then you have to put the bolts in and put the plugs on them. But because of the way that the 2.8 is built, it already has this natural offset. And uh, so my kind of logic was take advantage of it, right? Um, so no end mills, lathe bits were harmed in the making of this part. This part was made really old school. You know, this is actually just an old piece of Unistrut from a construction site. And uh, we just, you know, whiz wheeled this thing out. And um, I used the two mounting bolts. This one is, a, is an oil plug, a little oil passage plug for the oiling the front, the cam gear. And then this one is for mounting the front sump, if it was a front sump. And then these two holes I added to the block. So. This one just uh, peeks through into the bell housing. And then this one I drilled and tapped uh, the number three main bulkhead. But, um, and then I just, you know, I had to do uh, a little spot facing. I had a little spot facing tool just to kind of even this up. And then I stacked a couple washers below this one. I think three washers and then this has one washer. These are machined flat so the the plate just sits flat on the block on the front two and then I just had to do a little spacing to get it to sit even back here but yeah I just whiz wheeled out a piece of unistrut and I liked it because it's thick gauge material and it kind of has this natural bend in it for rigidity and stability and uh you know uh cut out the shape so we can still mount the oil pump on it and let's see i would think i was shooting for about a hundred thousandths on the counterweights and then on the connecting rod over here i think we have about fifty thousandths so um you know i'm gonna obviously double check it um you know when we put it all together for real but uh, I wanted to show you this. I thought this came out really cool. Um, it was a way to take the funny offset block and actually use it to our advantage, actually build an ice crank scraper. And, um, you know, there's going to be a couple ponies in this, right? This isn't, it's not a smoking gun. You know, this is not going to be 20 horsepower or something like that. But I do think you're going to see three or four horsepower with a good crank scraper. But, most importantly, I think you're going to see better oil pressure at high speeds. You know, so if you're running the engine, say, above 5,500, 6,000 or beyond, 
that's the place where a lot of wet sump engines will start to see some uh, fluctuation in the oil pressure. Um, crank scrapers do a really good job at uh, keeping any of the oil that's draining back on the crank and then starts weighing the crank down. You know, it just, it really helps strip that oil off and keep funneling it back down uh, to the oil pan. So anyway, um, it's a little 2.8 update. Had fun doing this. Took, um, cutting the plate out didn't really take very long, a little over an hour, you know, just cutting it and deburring it. But I mean, the only things that really took some time, honestly, were just finding the right bolts and, you know, making different spacers just to get it level but uh yep that's about it so a uh, little progress report on the 2.8 uh, it's coming along and uh we'll get back to you guys when we accomplish our next task so have a good one hit like subscribe keep following the 2.8 project have a good one see you